Sure. So the Discover 2 study was one of the two pivotal phase three studies for Caselcumab or Trimphia in adult patients with active psoriatic arthritis. So this was the larger of the two pivotal phase three studies, nearly 740 bio-naive psoriatic arthritis patients that were enriched for active disease, meaning they had to have five or more swollen tender joints. They had to have a CRP of 0.6 um, or higher. Uh, which is a marker of inflammation. And the reason for this was to be able to assess not only signs and symptoms with respect to uh, psoriatic arthritis, but also look at the question of structural damage. Sure. So with respect to the findings uh, in terms of the data that we were able to present at the uh, most recent American College of Rheumatology or ACR convergence meeting here in Philadelphia a few weeks back. These were two new post hoc analyses that we had conducted um, using the Discover 1 and Discover 2 uh, data sets uh, for the Salcomab in active PSA. And essentially, you know, the first analysis was able to demonstrate that the early uh, efficacy that one observes in clinical outcome measures, whether it be in the peripheral joints, whether it be enthesitis, et cetera, actually translates into long-term health-related quality of life uh, benefits. Um, and so this was actually seen through um, week 100 or um, you know, nearly two years of um, Trimphia uh, therapy. So that was one analysis. And then the second analysis actually demonstrated that early improvements, as early as week eight, uh, with respect to um, <clears throat> you know, again, outcome measures in psoriatic arthritis like enthesitis also translate into long-term durable responses uh, in terms of the clinical benefit of trimphia. And this extends not just to things that you might expect like, again, you know, peripheral joint uh, disease or enthesitis, dactylitis, but elements like fatigue. Uh, and so that is something that we also saw improve um, over time through week 100 based on some of these very early uh, improvements that were observed. Well, so <clears throat> by the very nature of these being post hoc analyses, um, one cannot make you know, statistically significant uh, or formal conclusions. These are um, hypothesis generating. Uh, but I do think it ties in very nicely with what we've observed in terms of the pre-specified analyses, the primary and major secondary results from the Discover 1 and 2 studies that have been previously published. Um, you're most likely aware of those as well, uh, where we were able to demonstrate early as well as sustained benefits with respect to Trimphia in not only the clinical domains of psoriatic arthritis, so again, peripheral joint disease, enthesitis, dactylitis, the skin outcomes, axial disease, and so on, but then also health-related quality of life and reduction in fatigue. So it's actually, I think, very compelling to see that these post hoc analyses complement quite nicely what we've previously observed with our primary and major secondary analyses. I think the clinical implications are pretty clear in that <clears throat> there are very tangible benefits that can be gained with the early recognition diagnosis and treatment of psoriatic arthritis, and in this particular case, with uh, an agent like Trimphia, um, in that you see these early responses as early as week eight in certain domains of disease like enthesitis, um, and that they then translate into longer term uh, outcomes that are beneficial to the patient, right? Both in terms of health-related quality of life, but also just the durability of response, right, in terms of the clinical outcome measures, as well as other elements like fatigue. Well, again, Rob, I wanted to thank you very much for this opportunity and also to share with you just very quickly that as part of our mission of relentlessly advancing care here at Janssen, in addition to the post hoc analyses that uh, we just discussed uh, and shared at the ACR Convergence meeting, we have also been very actively engaged with um, what is called our Race to Health Equity or Orthe Commitments. So these are our initiatives to really uh, build upon diversity, equity, and inclusion 
not only as an organization, but in our society. And really with respect to this particular case, you know, patients with immune-mediated diseases, uh, specifically psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. And so at ACR Convergence, we actually had the opportunity to share that with the broader community through our determination efforts and a couple of uh, tangible solutions that we have formulated as part of determination that was shared at ACR for the first time was a partnership with SUNY Downstate um, to actually have medical students serve as patient navigators uh, to really work with patients uh, at the ground level on elements, be it you know, adherence to medication, getting to appointments, et cetera. And the second was actually a, um, an atlas uh, on what psoriatic skin disease looks like in a diverse patient population. And that actually extends to psoriatic arthritis as well. So as to really increase the awareness and the opportunity to educate on early recognition, diagnosis, and ultimately treatment uh, of, of these diseases in patients of color, where unfortunately there's been a critical unmet need. So wanted to just share that in addition to the data that we were able to uh, present at ACR, since I think it comes all together in terms of our commitment as Janssen in the psoriatic disease space.